And so, we are getting electric. It is a notable fact in this country, glorious ahead in so many fields of social betterment, has lagged sadly in giving our 30 million rural population the benefit of electricity. This passive attitude of the past is over. Now, however, all is changed. The pole set, the wire strung, the transformer hung, and the service drop connected. We're going to have lights in 30 days, and this time, we know it's true. A song is in my heart, because I know that wonder day will soon arrive when current will be turned on in a thousand more rural homes, and tired-eyed men and women will give thanks for drudging hours saved. I am glad I've had a small part in making it all come true. Signed, R.A. Stedman, 1937, Mansfield, Pennsylvania. R. Angus Stedman, the chief engineer for Tri-County's electrification efforts from 1936 to 1938, chronicled the struggle to bring power to the rural areas of northern Pennsylvania in a manuscript written circa October 1937, about one month before Tri-County's lines were energized. Thanks to R. A. Stedman, capital credits are one of the many benefits of being a member of an electric cooperative. When you receive a capital credits refund, you are more than just a customer you become part owner of your local co-op. As a nonprofit organization, Tri-County exists to provide a safe and reliable flow of power to your home, farm, or business, not to provide a profit. When we tally up expenses at the end of the year, if margins, the co-op equivalent of profits, remain, they are distributed to members as capital credits. Tri-County returns these credits on a rotation schedule. Tri-County's first-in, first-out method of retiring capital credits returns money to members who have had it in the cooperative the longest. Capital credits are a significant source of equity and help to fund the growth and maintenance of the system. Let's take a look at some of the more common questions related to capital credits to give you a better understanding of what you, as a member of the cooperative, are a part of. Where does the money come from? Member-owned, not-for-profit co-ops set rates to generate enough money to pay operating costs, make payments on loans, and provide an emergency reserve. At the end of each year, the co-op subtracts operating expenses from the operating revenue collected during the year. The balance is called an operating margin. How are capital credits calculated? The amount of capital credits a member earns in a given year is based upon the amount of capital contributed to the cooperative through payment of monthly bills. The more electric service bought, the greater a capital credits account, although the percentage remains the same. The sum of a member's monthly bill for a year is multiplied by a percentage to determine capital credits. What percentage of my bill is returned as capital credits? The percentage of your total payment allocated as capital credits varies from year to year, depending on the success of the cooperative. Capital credits are only allocated during years in which Tri-County Electric earns a margin. Since capital credits are a member's share of the margins, no credits are allocated for a year with no margins. For years in which Tri-County Electric earned margins, the allocation is based on a percentage of annual bills. Will I receive a capital credits refund each year? Not necessarily. Each year, Tri-County Electric Board of Directors makes a decision on whether to retire capital credits based on the financial health of the cooperative. During some years, the co-op may experience high growth in the number of new accounts 
or severe storms and damages may result in the need to spend additional funds to repair lines. These and other events might increase costs and decrease member equity, causing the board not to retire capital credits. All capital credits allocated for every year members have been served by Tri-County Electric Co-op are maintained until such time that the board retires them. What happens to my capital credits when I leave Tri-County Electric? Your capital credits remain on the books in your name and member number until they are retired. Because payments are made approximately 27 to 30 years after credits are earned, please ensure Tri-County Electric Co-op has your current mailing address. How are margins allocated? Margins are allocated to members as patronage capital credits based on their electric purchases from the cooperative. How much power the member has used. What do cooperatives do with capital credits when they are not retired? Electric utilities are capital-intensive businesses requiring large investments in equipment. Like all businesses, Tri-County Electric must maintain a balance between debt and equity to ensure financial stability. During periods of fast growth, a large amount of cash or equity is needed to build our system. In order to fund this growth, Tri-County Electric has to borrow money from banks, reinvest member capital, or in some cases, do both. By reinvesting your capital credits, Tri-County Electric is able to keep rates competitive by reducing the funds that must be borrowed from other sources. We hope this has given you a detailed overview of capital credits. Let's review the main points in closing. Number one, your co-op tracks how much electricity you buy and how much money you pay for it throughout the year. Number two, at the end of the year, your co-op completes financial matters and determines whether there are excess revenues called margins. Number three, your co-op allocates margins to members as capital credits based upon their use of electricity during the year. Number four, when the co-op's financial condition permits, your board of directors decides to retire or pay capital credits. Number five, your co-op notifies you of how and when you'll receive your capital credits retirements.